So as you can see, my hair is wet and a little crazy because today I am going to be doing my curly hair routine. First off, I have my towel in case my hair gets really, really wet. Um, I have a wide tooth comb. So the products that I'm actually going to be using in my hair um, are first off the Rusk Sensories Smoother Conditioner. And this is just a leave-in conditioner. This obviously is like a salon size bottle. I've had this a lot of years now, I think. It's been like four years. <laughs> it's just, I still have some left. It's just a lot of product in here. I just put it in this little travel container because it's easier to handle. Then, of course, I'm going to be using the John Frieda Frizz Ease Dream Curls Curl Perfecting Spray, which I love and I mentioned in my favorites video. I'm also going to be using the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk for thick curly hair. And of course, um, as I mentioned, I do diffuse my hair, so my blow dryer with the diffuser on top. You can use any, you can use any diffuser really. It doesn't really make any difference. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. And of course, the first thing that you want to do, or that I do, is um, put in my leave-in conditioner, um, which is the Rusk conditioner. Um, I usually use like a pea size amount and I rub it in my hands and then I start at my ends and spread it. I do like to go into the roots after I do my ends because I do have a dry scalp and I like to get a little moisture in there. Now um, I'm going to go in with my Shea Moisture uh, Coconut and Hibiscus Cream. I'm going to be using more or less that amount. And again, same method. Just start at the ends and then work your way up. This one I don't actually work into my roots because um, it is very moisturizing. So I try not to work it completely into my roots because then my hair gets um, oily fairly quickly. But I do work it very well into my ends. Now that that's done, um, you can take a hair clip or in my case I'm just taking like a rubber band type thing because I ran out of hair clips. I'm going to separate my hair. I'm going to use a white tooth comb to gather it all up. Like that, more or less. And as you can see I just separate it a little bit at the bottom and now we're going to go in with the John Frieda Frizz Ease Dream Curls. You shake it up and you're going to completely saturate um, your hair from the roots to the ends. It's actually good that you get it in the roots because um, then it will handle frizz um, really well and it doesn't make your hair oily at all. It doesn't make it um, crunchy like I say, which is just stiff. It doesn't make your hair stiff whatsoever. So just completely saturate your hair. Basically like, like you're washing it again, but with the product and get your ends. Then I like to run um, the white tooth comb through it just to make sure that it's uh, evenly distributed. Then I'm just going to continue separating my hair until everything is completely covered um, with the product. Again, uh, completely saturating your hair, at least that's my method. Some people like to use less. I like to uh, use a lot of this because then my curls end up really bouncy and not frizzy at all and they actually last a long time curly. Don't use the shirt that you're going out with when you're doing your curly hair because um, you will get it really soaked. <laughs> That's what usually happens to me. As you can see, my hair is very, very wet. So I have the towel, myself dry. Um, and now I'm just going to part it where um, I usually part my hair, which is at the side. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure it's on the side that you usually part your hair. I'm just running it my hands through it to loosen it up because it's all stuck together because it's really really wet with the product just loosen it up and then scrunch now before I actually go in with a diffuser 
I know um, the pieces of my hair that usually have uh, trouble like taking the curl and then just they stay straight which I hate especially the front pieces they don't take the curl very well so what I do is I actually um, curl them with my fingers and then let them go this is actually before the fusing my hair and it really makes a difference so I take my front the front pieces of my um, the ones that frame my face and I just curl them with my fingers and then you can go around around your head um, the places where you know that your hair just stays flat doesn't really matter which side you decide to curl your hair the important thing is that you just curl them I usually go out outward on the ones that frame my face and then you can alternate um, the ones in the back the strands in the back sorry if I'm looking at the monitor a lot <laughs> I realized that I aligned my mirror wrong, so I'm just trying to make sure that everything is okay. Now that I've finished curling the strands that usually don't take, I'm going to go in with my diffuser. And um, since I did saturate my hair so much with the product, it usually takes me about 30 to 40 minutes to actually um, completely dry my hair so that it's not damp. Um, and for the best results, you should um, dry your hair completely that way the curls will not fall flat if you leave the hair um, damp then there is a possibility that your hair is just gonna fall flat um, if you use less product and your hair is not as wet um, it'll probably take you less time the setting that I use um, is warm not hot and then I go on the low setting so first off you want to flip your hair upside down and I'm not gonna be able to see what the heck I'm doing Okay. So um, you turn it on warm and low setting. First off, you want to scrunch your hair. You're going to take a big bunch, scrunch it up, and then put it in the diffuser and take it up. You want to go underneath the hair uh, and upward, but don't do this. Then the curl won't look as natural. I'm just going to hold it to my head for about two minutes. So it would actually start drying because the hair is very wet and saturated. And I spend more or less 15 minutes um, with my hair flipped upside down uh, to actually get every angle of the hair upside down. Make sure when you flip it upside down you get the sides. And also this part right here is very important. This part around here usually doesn't take the curl easily. Progress report. Waiting. Once you've done 15 minutes on this side, as you can see, it's very, very curly. It's almost um, fully dried. This one's still flat, so now you flip your hair to the other side and then you dry it for about six to seven minutes um, on this side. Crunch it up first. You're done uh, with your six to seven minutes on this side you're gonna flip your hair upside down one last time you're gonna diffuse it for three minutes on the warm setting as it was and then the last two minutes you're gonna diffuse it on the cool setting um, so that everything is set in place and that actually helps a lot with the frizz and this is the finished product as you can see it's very volumized very curly um, there are some pieces that I wish would have gotten curlier but overall it blends very well it's soft um, it's very bouncy and I really like this method of curling my hair um, diffuser versus air drying because if I let it air dry it usually um, gets curly in some places straight in others and flat overall this way I can have curly hair and I can consistently have good hair days because I know that's a bit of a struggle for people with curly hair now usually when I'm done diffusing my hair I go back to the Shea Moisture coconut and hibiscus curl and style milk I just take a little amount like this rub it in between my hands and then just spread it on the top um, of my head to avoid any flyaways and this really helps to control the frizz as well and it also makes it smell like coconut which is a very big plus now this hair usually lasts me about two days curly the third day is 
so-so, um, but I usually wash my hair on the third day anyway. I love to wear my hair curly like this now that summer's coming up because it's very humid outside, there is unexpected rain, and then there's a lot of heat and humidity, and usually this is the best way to go for me at least because um, I like to be outside, I like to go to the beach when I can, and even if I don't go to the beach, it's usually raining outside or it's very warm and humid, and this is a hairstyle that I can depend on looking great the whole day and staying put. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this helped all you curly haired gals out there who just don't know what to do with their hair. I know sometimes I just don't know how to deal with it, but usually this method works very well for me. So again, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!